Story Night Guitars. This is my new Eastman T64 VB. There's a few more letters I'm missing, but T64 VB stands for Vintage Burst. There's some of the letters, I don't know what they stood for. I've seen other reviews of this guitar on YouTube, but I think most of the ones I see people leaning more to being a strummer or playing rock music. I kind of lean more toward jazz stuff, so I want to just demonstrate it clean sounds, no distortion, just reverb. We don't even have the delay pedal on. I'm playing through, you can see over here, a Henderson Blue 6, which is a great little amp. What I mainly do is I play solo gigs, just me. I use the guitar, I do some chord melody stuff. I also have a looper where I sometimes play things where I can accompany myself. So, this is the neck pickup. Tones on about seven. <laughs> down to about eight. I'm not going to do the specs, just Lawler, dog ear pickups, sound amazing i love them uh, so here is i did the neck pickup i put it with both pickups volumes about eight on both of them tones wide open still on eight. Just the bridge. Again, tones wide open. Thank you. 
Again, this is clean. I have to say, for me, the sound that I love, the neck pickup, tone rolled back a bit. I have a John Pisano, uh, Eastman John Pisano 380, this guitar right over here on my shoulder, kind of orangey thing, that I normally use for jazz. I did a gig last Friday night, and I just brought this guitar just to check it out, and I loved it. Um, I'll take it back. I had this guitar. I also had my Yamaha silent guitar, which is a nylon string guitar. And what I tend to do, my pedal board has an exotic RC booster. So I use the looper pedal. And when I solo, I step on the RC, and it's just a clean boost, so I bring it down a bit. So it's still no delay, just a little bit of the RC. I can roll my volume back a bit. guitar sounds great for jazz. Uh, so a brief history of my journey to get to this guitar. I had an Eastman T59B, which I loved. That was more like a 335. Had the big center block. Now, I'm 66 years old. If I was still in my 20s or 30s, the T59 would have been my dream guitar. But I got it, had it for about five years, and I really loved the way it sounded. But it was pretty heavy. And even though I mostly play seated, if I'm wearing a strap, it's pulling down on your neck. I've got some issues with my shoulders and some back pain. So I wanted to go to lighter guitars. That's why I, uh, if I can turn my camera, where in the far corner I have a thin line Squire that I love. It weighs nothing. Really enjoy that. And the Pisano was as well, pretty light. So why I love the T59D, it had Seymour Duncan Antiquities. They sounded amazing. Incredible versatility and just sounded brilliant. I think that would be geared best if you're a rock player or a blues player. They just sound stellar, incredible sound. And I finally got to a point, I used to say that was my desert island guitar, that I could do a jazz gig with that, or go do worship, or I could play in a rock band or a blues band, and just bring that one guitar. But I started thinking about other Eastmans that are fully hollow, like this, this guitar. And I finally said, you know, life is short. As much as I hate to let that guitar go, I think this might be the answer I'm looking for, and I think it is. I love this guitar. It is very, very light. It's very similar to what I understand a Gibson 330. I've never played one. I'm a big fan of Emily Rendler. Her, her jazz playing, she passed probably 20, 25 years ago. Brilliant guitar player. And when she got started, at least came to fame, she was playing her brother's Gibson 330, which I guess was fully hollow. And this guitar just is so resonant. I love the way it plays, the sounds you get. And rolling the tone back just a bit, it gets a very warm jazz sound, I think. And uh, So, as I said, life is short. I decided to sell my T59D, pretty much got out of it what I put into it, and was able to buy this used, actually. And I think possibly the reason it was used, it looked virtually brand new, is these guitars, because they're so resonant, everything vibrates. 
I got it and there was some rattles and weird vibrations. And uh, so if you just came to hear the guitar, you can check it at this point. If you're interested in getting one of these guitars and hearing about the issues I've dealt with on my journey, stay tuned. So, so as I said, I got it and there was some rattles and buzzers on certain notes. If I played notes, chords with really close intervals, dissonance, sometimes be rattles and I couldn't pinpoint it so what I did I contacted the guy I bought it from and he kind of said that's sort of the nature of the beast a lot of things vibrate and maybe a while to hunt it down what I did to resolve it at least at this point I put these little pieces of foam let me show you in case someone else is experiencing this it's like craft foam I guess it's very very thin flexible I got it from school put one piece under here under the tail piece where it touches the face of the guitar. Then under my pick guard, where this rail is right here, I put a piece right there. So it's between the pick guard and the face of the guitar. Right along here where the pick guard's right between the pickups, I put two pieces of this. So instead of there being a gap, there's a solid pad, so it's not vibrating. That helps some. And what I finally did is I cut off little pieces. You can kind of see these shapes right here and here. Hopefully you can see that. If I zoom in on the dog, as you can see these corners right here, what I did was cut up these little pieces of foam, remove the pickup screw, and just put that under the very edge, screwed it back down, silence. And I'm in love. This guitar just sounds so, so great. And uh, it's exactly what I was hoping it would be. The pickup sound amazing for what I what I do, you know, if you're a rock player, blues player, I don't know, you may not care for it, to be honest, I've never used it with delay, I'm sorry, I've never used it with distortion, probably won't, that's not kind of my thing that I do, uh, and the guitar might feed back at louder volumes, I don't know, but just to let you see, here's a little bit of delay, Eastman T64, I can't say enough good things about it. Love this guitar. So, I'd love to hear your comments, what you think also this Hendrix amplifier. I absolutely love it. I got it about two months ago, bought it used from a guy on Facebook Marketplace. He only sold it because he upgraded to the Hendrickson 10, which I guess has a 10 inch speaker. This is nine by nine by nine, it has a six inch speaker, and it sounds amazing. The volume right now is on, I got a three. You know, it's at 9 o'clock, but that's about a 3. And I do gigs at restaurants, and it's louder than I need. It's plenty loud. Again, it's just me. But I've read online, people say they've used it with uh, a full band. You know, quartets, quintets. Because there's also a line out. So you could use that and run it through a house system if you have one. I just love the portability of it. So if you're in the market for that kind of amp, I can't say good enough things about this. It also comes with a little tiny carrying bag very light i could go to a gig i did this just yesterday i played somewhere this guitar in a gig bag my amp in a gig bag big pocket a couple chords good to go so hope you got something out of this video as always folks enjoy the journey god bless love to hear your comments take care